Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I wash my full locks. So I've had this in for, I think about three weeks, almost a month or more than a month. And I wash it every now and again, especially if I feel like my scalp is dirty or itchy, if I've been working out or, you know, I just feel like maybe I need to wet it. So I want to share with you guys how I wash my hair um, and maintain it, okay? Let's get right into it. The first thing is first, I wet the hair. After that, I go in with my shampoo. The one thing I like to do is I concentrate on my scalp but I also run the shampoo down the locks um, just so that I could wash it as well you know but mainly I concentrate on my scalp Just to go in deep into my scalp and to give myself a massage, I go in with this brush. It's a Baby Beast Bliss Pro brush. I've had this a while, so I just use that. To kind of massage because there's only so much that your fingers can do. And then we rinse. So we're going in again because you guys know you don't always get um, the best ladder and the best wash. Don't forget to run the shampoo down. Make sure you get your edges underneath. Just go ahead and give yourself a good scalp massage while you're at this because, yeah, it's important. For hair growth, blood circulation, it just feels good. I'm going in with our conditioner, okay? See? So, about just a generous amount. Um, but we're not going to be putting this on our scalp. We're going to be putting this at the base where our hair is, just right here. Of course, it's going to touch your scalp, but you don't want to put condition on your scalp. Well, I don't because it just it makes my my scalp itch me. So just around here, right, and then the strands too. A little more. So the next thing we're going to do is slap on the shower cap. And then finish up with the rest of our shower routine. And then I'll come back and rinse it up on camera. So now that I've done my shower, it's time to rinse off. So I'll see this sat for about 10 to 15 minutes, roughly. I keep rinsing and rinsing and rinsing until 
you know, the entire hair is stripped off, at least my opinion is conditioner. You might still get a few strands with the conditioner, but that's fine, it's okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I will pull you guys up when I get to, or when I'm done and I get to my bedroom, okay? I'm just doing my face routine while I'm waiting for my hair to dry. Let me know if you want me to film like my face routine or something is very very simple i like using very simple products like products that don't require that many steps just because you know you're more likely to sustain a routine that is simple also it's just it makes life easier anyways i'm just gonna take this off the tips are still a little wet but for the most part it's dry at least just damp and it's not dripping i found that allowing this hair to air dry is actually better than blow drying it um the last time i went to the salon and they washed it they washed the hair really well but i noticed that after they blow dried it it was a bit stiff so i decided to try out air drying and I don't know, it just made the hair a lot more flexible. So first things first, I go in with the detangler from the hair. Once that is done, I run my fingers through the hair like this. Just because, um, you know, it, you have like these little flyaways. I don't know how to explain it. it. Just makes the hair look rough. But when you don't worry, I'll zoom in. I'll show you guys what I mean. So, but essentially, what I'm doing is detangling. Okay, um, then just ripping out any part that is like all the strands that are loose and stuff like that. Any of you guys can see this. Oh, I'm gonna make it so you guys can't really see it. See? Yeah. Anyway, so after that, I go in with my scissors, right? So they ends like this. They just look weird. So I just snip. Just go around looking for ends like that. Just snip. Anything that is Yeah I go in with an oil, okay, so you have options, but I found that olive oil works the best in a weird way i don't know but you could definitely use other oils that you have but i just prefer to use this because it just makes the hair a lot more supple like it makes it olive oil has a way of making things supple i don't know how to explain that i use it for my skin as well so yeah and then of course you could also massage your scalp with it as well nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that so that's what we're doing. Make sure you get your edges as well, guys. Always. Always get your edges. Mm -hmm. Still run your, your fingers through to the tangle. Still do it. Right. That's a lot of sun coming through, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, so, just because I deal with itchy scalp, I also like to go in with some sort of menthol balm or something that has that minty feel, like that tingling, that will give you that tingling feeling in your scalp. So I go in with a mentholated balm. I got this at the pharmacy. Um, some people say you can also use rub i don't know um it was actually a lady at the salon that was like oh why don't you try rub and then when i got to the pharmacy and i told them that i was having itchy scalp they were like oh try this it's a lot milder and it will work as well so 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is it's called Benchi. Let me even see. It's a Nigerian product. So it says it works for headaches and colds and things like basically it's an insulated balm. Okay, just so I use this to massage my scalp and afterwards, oh my goodness, it leaves that that joyful, tingly feeling that just I don't know. <laughs> Especially when like you go out and then like cold breeze just hits your scalp. Oh, it feels so good. So I use it to massage my scalp. Um, it definitely has a you know like strong menthol smell. So if you are if you don't like such smells, then this might not be good for you. But I love it. It just makes my scalp feel so good. And since I started using it, at least I use it say in a week like two times. I don't deal with itchy scalp anymore like I used to at least since I started doing my routine this way like washing my hair regularly so I would wash my hair typically this is getting too bright so I need to take it down I think hold on a sec guys natural light I'm filming with natural light okay hold on hold on it's coming down it's coming down right so typically I wash my hair every week once a week or at least once in 10 days since I had it done just because you guys know I work out a lot and yeah you just want to make sure that your hair is clean and i can already tell that my hair is growing guys like i was looking at the mirror today and i was just looking and i, see, I saw some growth and i was just like Ooh, like how long am i going to push this like this hair i love the way the hair looks to be honest for the most part i wear it down like this um and then sometimes i just pack it up um I, maybe i'll do a video styling the hair like packing it in different ways just so you guys can see what you know but yeah all in all that's it guys that is pretty much i feel like this my camera setup is is one key today but anyways guys that's it i'm looking at my face that's it so that's how i wash my hair that's my faux locks routine if you enjoyed the video or um you know you have any tips on how i can maintain the hair or even how to pack it and style it leave it in the comment section down below you could also um shoot me a dm on instagram send me pictures just to give me ideas and inspiration as to how to deal with this hair yeah thanks for watching guys make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye oh oh by the way don't forget to brush your edges okay very important just brush and then the back as well yeah